right, what we're doing here is taking samples in this little four pound pot of different leads that I have. Waiting on this sucker to come up to temp. And, uh, all right, focus you. Uh, so I take samples of lead that I have in stock. This I call corn cob lead. That's, uh, they told me it was soft lead, but it's not. I think it's flashing. I've got uh, clip-on wheel weights. I've got fish weights. I've got range lead that came exclusively from Quantico, Virginia. I've got about 200 pounds of that and 25 pound bricks. <clears throat> and this is some 40 to one I had left over. I'm just verifying what its hardness is. So I take my samples with these. Where is one? There we go, right here. You can see the flat that's on the side of that slug there. That's a mold that's been remodeled by uh, Harry over at uh, Backyard Inventor. That's his YouTube channel. He builds all kinds of stuff. Anyway, it's gonna make it real easy. Come on, you focus. Can you do that? Oh, well, hell. I got a spastic Chinese camera. There it goes. All right, so that's what this is in preparation for the uh, hollow point test that we got coming. And I'm gonna use just things that uh, us redneck casters have in stock flashing lead uh, fish weight lead clip on wheel weight stick on wheel weight uh, range and uh, uh, something else I thought about is now there's some hollow points that I rejected in my uh, dross pot I keep this little pot and I put all my dross in there. And uh, I was thinking about it earlier. And with our dross, tin comes off pretty readily. It oxidizes, I think, quicker than lead does. So they're always warning you, um, you know, cover that pot. It's like I use a candle to keep the air away from my pot. And... Uh, um, where can we have a source of tin? We're not going to go out and buy it from Rota Metals. Well, that doggone draw spot right there, that's got to be full of tin. So I'm going to cast all that up and take some measurements on it and see if I can figure out what that content is. Okay, that's, that's what's going on today, boys. Late 